My name is Dr. Edmund Ajapong. I'm from the Bronx, New York. So I grew up in the South East section of the Bronx, New York, my entire life and still continue to live there. And as a child, I went to elementary school in my neighborhood. And for middle school, I went to a school for gifted and talented students. As a child, I really always loved science. I always was curious about the world and um, just how things worked and you know why things were the way they were. Um, the demographic of students was one that did not represent me. There weren't that many students of color in that school. There weren't that many teachers of color in that school. So I just found myself very disengaged in all of my classes, especially my science class. Oh bad. Um, from that point, I went to high school and I, I met a, a young black male teacher who used hip hop to engage me I, and I loved hip hop. My first album that I bought was Jay-Z's um, Blueprint. And that teacher really just allowed me to feel genuine and allowed me to use my hip-hop self to connect to science. And that's why I developed my science identity. We got science everywhere. Hey. Science everywhere. We got science everywhere. Science everywhere. We got science everywhere. Science everywhere. We got science everywhere. And I went to college and you know, got a degree in biochemistry and I decided, you know, I really want to enter the, the profession of teaching to really allow students like me who come from the same community I come from, who, you know, who love hip hop, to show them that they could be scientists too. Who has the best pencil tapping skills in here? Who's here? James? Ziaji? <laughs> You know, being a black male and teaching always comes the stigma that you understand black boys better, but good teaching is good teaching. I think it's absolutely necessity for black male educators to be innovative in their practices when teaching young black men. Just because young black men construct knowledge differently, they engage with their peers differently. They may view the world differently. So using these general and normal monolithic approach to teaching and learning are not the best approaches for our young black men. We gotta be really innovative. We gotta utilize our young boys' cultures. And we just gotta incorporate hip hop and hip hop cultures in the classroom. And when you look at the profession of teaching, it's a very challenging job. It's not easy, it's not for the faint of heart. And you have to love what you do. But I think when we talk about teacher preparation, we're focusing too much on just the intellect of our teachers and preparing teachers, and just not how they communicate and engage and relate to students. 